We spoke to Chris Orty, Level Design Director, Theodore Maeder, Lead Rendering Engineer, and Sebastian Luant, Technical Director, to put to them some of the questions our community have been asking about the upcoming Hunt's performance patch. The main reason we focused on CPU optimizations first was because the game suffered mostly from spikes in the frame rate that were caused by CPU issues. Uh, moreover, actually in most configuration, the limiting factor is still the CPU, thus all improvements on the CPU side will benefit most users. But that doesn't mean that we will not concentrate on GPU uh, performance once the CPU performance is there. For Hunt, we developed a whole lot of new systems uh, and added them to the CryEngine, and we didn't really have a lot of time to optimize them properly yet. In addition to that, a lot of stuff came in very late, so there was not enough time to really uh, deep dive into the optimizations yet. But fortunately, this is what we have done um, for the current patch, so there should be quite a big improvement there. And another reason for being so uh, being heavily CPU bound is that we have a lot of content in the levels actually. So a um, lot of entities being updated every frame, a lot of uh, things being rendered and culled and so on. So those all contribute to the cost. Yeah, we that's what to. we do in level design. It's like a lot of yeah, it keep make, pushing more stuff in. Make that hard for us <laughs> yeah. in the rendering. Exactly. <laughs> Hunt, as we shipped it up to now, was uh, very heavy on the CPU. And traditionally, low-end systems uh, have slower CPUs and uh, less cores to, available to the game. And that's why um, optimizations to, G, uh, to CPU side code will affect those systems more than uh, high-end systems. Uh, memory efficiency has been improved, both in terms of memory accesses and in terms of uh, volume of memory being used by the game and typically lower end hardware is the one with the least memory available. Thus we um, decreased paging and swapping uh, on these machines. Yeah. And there were some issues that we addressed um, related to that that would benefit both low and high end systems. So there were some CPU issues we found that could actually restrict not only people with lower end specification hardware, but also higher end specification hardware. So mm -hmm. those are things we wanted to fix and, and address first before we start focusing on you know, really pushing the, the performance from higher end GPUs and, and other hardware. It's more important if you have a stable 30 frames per second than it is if you have you know, 130 frames per second, but it's going up and down constantly and it feels like it's lagging all the time. Um, so from our perspective, it makes a lot more sense to get you a much more kind of um, stable and um, smoother experience overall than it is at this present moment to raise the upper frame rate. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, in some cases, loading shaders at runtime. And we were able to pre-cache all these, so they would be loaded at game start, and then we don't access the disk anymore. Mm -hmm. There were other cases, like we use, we heavily use um, light clip volumes in the game, which are basically uh, volumes that clip the lights and cube maps. And we had a lot of code that was checking constantly if uh, entities are inside those volumes or not. We were able to optimize this down considerably, so that um, this kind of test almost doesn't show up in the profile anymore. I mean, that affects basically this issue that they saw with the spikes when they ADS, when they go into yeah. sites, that's the shader okay. loading issue. Yeah. And when they experience a drop in performance on interiors, the clip volume should help yeah. reduce that a lot as well. There's yeah. a few other things we know about it with that, so it might not be 100% fixed at this point, but mm. we have some more plans for that. It is also something that we were seeing uh, on uh, like full screen effects where we were also accessing textures for the first time at this point. Mm. And it was all playing into the, the issues that we were having with memory because obviously if it's the same drive that you use for paging and for also streaming all of your data and then you have like spikes where you need an asset immediately for rendering, then obviously it's um, terrible for your frame rate. Hunt is actually a bit of a memory-hungry game, or at least was because mostly we had some uh, issues with some of the systems in the, um, that, that are dedicated to memory management and we couldn't use them out of the box, so we had to fix them. And moreover, we developed new technology that was not completely ironed out at this point, and that led to uh, larger memory overheads that we had to fix as well. It's also part of yeah, how we build 
content that we didn't realize where we would make mistakes, so now we're addressing all of it. Part of that from our side is we need to investigate it, we need to figure out why that's the case. There's a lot of moving parts, there's a lot of variables that go into you know, performance and specs and different hardware configurations and other things, so some of those issues take a little bit of time for us to investigate. Um, and you know, if we come across situations like that, by all means, please make a post about it, get in touch with us on Discord, mm -hmm. talk to our moderators, uh, videos, DX Diag and other stuff, because those are things that we want to make sure go yeah. away and more information, the better, I'd say. I would imagine a few people would be aware that you know there was a patch that came out, I think we call Hoffix 2, which had some performance implications and players noticed that there were some frame rate dips and other things due to an issue that was introduced with that patch. Um, we want to avoid that if possible. We want to make sure that we give the community a chance to experience it first um, and share their issues with us so we can actually identify them and make some changes, which in the performance patch on, live, uh, sorry, on the test server actually happened. We got a lot of feedback from people and we could make some adjustments and some changes um, almost live, as it were. Um, the second issue is that if we deploy on our live servers, then you have the chance of losing hunters. Um, if we deploy a patch and there's an issue with it, you might lose um, you know, a hunter here or there to, to bugs and other things, and that's something that we really would rather avoid. So the test servers are a much more kind of safe uh, um, location to, or in order to get players in, get them to test the stuff, and uh, give us feedback where possible. Um, there's a third reason as well, which is we're also sort of testing these servers and making sure that they're working for when we start deploying content on there and future patches and other stuff. Um, it allows us to make sure that they're in working order and that we have you know, quick iterations and we can get the data we need from that as well. Should be live as you're watching this video. It should already be out. So you should already be able to experience it and hopefully issue free. If not, we got a lot yeah. more work to do. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The next steps would be continuing on fixing the stalls that we have left in the game and when the core gameplay experience is completely free of them, then we will focus on improving average frame rates. Then we will focus on providing the users with faster loading times because that's also one of the main concerns that people have been having. Uh, apart from the matchmaking that can take a bit of time, usually yeah, still the loading time is the biggest portion, so we want to, to address that. And we will also give uh, some debugging tools so that you can communicate to us better what issues you are having uh, when performance is not great. So it comes both with a, a visual part that you can activate and so that you can let us know a bit more information. Or also it will go through a specific telemetry that we collect while you're uh, playing the game so that, for instance, at the end of a round, if the performance wasn't great, you can talk to us about it and we'll be able to look into the actual numbers and see perhaps, oh yeah, your frame rate dropped in that area of the level, we can look into this and address that specific issue for you. So guys, uh, in closing, um, we just want to extend our thanks to you um, for sticking with us through this and for your patience um, with these performance issues that we had. Um, obviously, it's been a very hot topic um, for the game. Um, we had an enormous amount of feedback from you guys. Very, very, very good feedback. We had a lot of uh, screenshots, we had a lot of videos, um, the surveys that you guys completed. Um, we had one-on-ones with a lot of you in Discord. Um, on a couple occasions, we even had some personal Twitch streams to try to find some of the, the issues. Um, and the amount of time that you guys have dedicated to helping us out with this is fantastic. Thank you so much for that. Um, I guess we also should make a, um, a big thanks as well to the moderators on the various channels that we have for mm -hmm. gathering all this stuff and you know trying to keep us up to date with everything. Um, hugely appreciated. Um, we want to do much more of this in the future. Um, we want to communicate with you a bit more clearly in the future about performance as well. Um, and uh, hopefully there'll be a lot more updates and a lot more performance patches coming out soon. And you should be able to play the patch live right now. Achieved with CryEngine.